Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Christian Girl Teenager, and long time no see. <laughs> but I just, I've just been so busy with life, life has been so crazy that I just haven't had time to be on YouTube, unless I'm watching YouTube videos to get myself to go to sleep. But anyways, today I wanted to give you guys a little life slash pregnancy update, which is, I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering about that. Anyways, pregnancy is going good, um, considering I have, since the last time I spoke to you guys, I have had it, I did have one seizure, I think about 26 weeks, I believe, about 26 weeks, I believe, I can't remember, but I know it was towards the, um, beginning of my third trimester, so, but, anyways, that is all taken care of, and then, um, and then about 30 weeks, 30 weeks in one day, I had, um, a preterm labor scare, which turns out it was nothing, baby's perfectly fine and everything like that. I was just having some really strong Braxton Hicks contractions. And so, but, um, now, with that being said, I do have a low-lying cervix, so it's kind of been a little, like, I don't know how to describe it. My OB said there's that low lying cervix is nothing wrong with it. I guess it's just I guess the thing about low lying cervix is it won't hurt during cervical checks, maybe. And so anyways, um since then um my boots have also been leaking colostrum. <laughs> that started happening around twenty four weeks, so yeah. Ooh, this is full. Sorry, I'm just finishing eating and I just thought I'll give y'all a bump or a slept pregnancy up here. I just need that up And so anyways, um, but I am currently 30 weeks in, let's see here, wait, 31 weeks. Yeah, 31 weeks in, there's, um, 30, 31 weeks in three days. <laughs> I know it's bad that I have to keep track, well, um, think about it for a minute, but my pregnancy brain is for real. And so I've actually told people that I'm 29 weeks, and it turns out I'm, well, I've actually told somebody that I was 16 weeks, and I turned out to be 26 weeks, so I have to think about it before I actually say anything, how many weeks I am. And so, but anyways, we've been preparing for baby Matthew to come. Excuse me, baby shower, I do not, I think it's going to be January 7th, but I'm not part of the planning at all. I was just part of, I was just in charge of getting the names together. Everything else, um, I am not a part of it. Oh, I thought there was shadow in the window. But anyways, everything else, I'm kind of, we've been collecting a lot of baby stuff and everything, thing like that, and so... And the reason why I'm in this room because we are currently preparing a room and it's going to take time. So we have to make sure that we are um, staying in a room that if Matthew happens to come early, which I really hope he doesn't come too early, um, then he then all we got to do is put up the pack and play and wipe it down. Cause that's where he, what he's sleeping is gonna be sleeping in is a pack and play, which is gonna be good. And so I don't mind at all. <laughs> but we still have a lot of stuff to do before baby. But I'm just so excited because I am currently preparing for baby, and it's just been exciting. It's an exciting time. I am definitely feeling the third trimester discomfort, like going to the bathroom constantly. I've definitely had a thirst for water, like, I'm currently, I'm always more thirsty, and so I'm constantly thirsty. I do not have gestational diabetes. I passed, I passed that test with flying colors, so I know that's not an issue, and so, but I'm just really thirsty because in general, my body is preparing for this big arrival, and it needs lots of, I need lots of water, and so, 
and I'm also drinking for two, so that takes a, a lot. And, but anyways, yeah, so um, I went from drinking with one liter to I'm going to try to drink um, a gallon of water a day. So I'll let y'all know in the next pregnancy update how that goes. I'm hoping I will be able to do another pregnancy update um, before my baby comes. I really have a feeling that I won't go past 36 weeks. That's just my motherly feeling that I'm feeling. But if I go further, then I will be very happy and be very elated because I know, I'll, although I know I'm going to be uncomfortable, just like I already am, and I know a lot of things is going to be going on, but if I can just relax and if I make it to 36 weeks, then that's okay and I'm perfectly fine with going to 42 weeks if I have to. Just as long as my baby is healthy, then that's all that matters. And as long as we're not pushing out a 15 pound baby. <laughs> I hope that, I have a feeling Matthew is going to be between 6 and 9 pounds because uh, Michael, I think, was about 6 pounds, and I was almost 9 pounds, so I know he's probably going to be a big baby, and so, yeah. But my bump is actually very small for being 31 weeks. It looks like I'm 28 weeks, but at the same time, people have different opinions, but, oh well. I love my bump, and I love... Excuse me, I love everything about this pregnancy so far. Even the dots, so fun things. I love, I just, I'm just enjoying every moment of this pregnancy. Because I just know that some people, some people can't carry babies. And it just makes me grateful that I get, to, I can carry a baby. Although I am awfully young. But I'm just grateful that I can. Because I know there, there's so many people out there that, wishes that they can carry a baby and they can't so I'm just grateful that I was able to do it naturally get pregnant um natural so maybe without any medication or anything like that so although it, I am awfully young and off and I do not encourage teen pregnancy but at the same time um it's just if you're if you're ready I wasn't ready whenever I found out I was pregnant but if you feel like you can do it, then why not go for it? But at the same time, I'm not going to, to encourage it because pregnancy, teen pregnancy is actually harder than you think it is. Although people may act like it's not that hard, but going through the judgments and the comments and people entering and exiting your life. Like some friends, whenever they found out I was pregnant, they decided no, long, to no longer talk to me. And some friends came for a little bit and then they decided to exit my life too. So it's just, there's a lot of things that goes along with um, being a teen parent, like trying to find a job and responsibility, which I did have a babysitting job for about a month or two, maybe about a month. And then I had a, she, they had to let me go because um, the, the woman that I was babysitting for quit, quit her job. So, which means, which, Put me into no longer babysitting. But, anyways, right now, I am just following what the Lord leads me in um, in life. I know that Matthew loves church because I don't go to church that often because I've been either sick or get up very late. And so, anyways, but Ma Matthew, every time I do go to church, which has actually been very rare this pregnancy, but I'm hoping to, once I deliver, to actually pick up, um, like, go start going more like I used to. But anyways, um, he likes to kick and move around a lot whenever, um, I'm in church. And because he hears the words, he hears, um, the name Jesus, and he, he gets excited. So, I just wonder if he's going to be, um, part of the... Part, have a vocation. Well, everyone has a vocation in life. But I just wonder what he will do in the church whenever he gets older. And so, yeah, I'm just excited to see what 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 type of man he becomes and and all that stuff. And I'm just 
I'm just excited whenever I think about Matthew and all that stuff. I just get feel so happy. And so, although I've had definitely a lot of heartburn and a lot of headaches and everything like that, and still a lot of sickness, I just feel so happy whenever I rub my belly thinking about Matthew. And like in the next couple of years, um, Matthew could have another sibling. You never know. My kids, I've decided that my kids will have at least a three year age difference. But at the same time, I have no control over that. Only the Lord does. So I'm just enjoying my life right now as a soon to be mommy. So, anyways, I think with that being said, I'm going to show y'all my bump and then um, upload this video so I can get to bed. So, anyways, let's show the bump. Oops, y'all can't see. So I'm having to stand on the bed. So here's the bump. This is a maternity dress, actually. I just have... What? My dirty feet. Oh, my feet stays dirty constantly. Did I refuse to put socks on? Because socks gives me feet cramp foot cramps. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Remember, you're not here to judge. You're here to love and serve God's people. And love, hope, peace, and joy, and happy holidays. Bye.